fifth grade ELA text tech seven. Uh, the essential, I'm sorry, the, um, the literary language. We're going to be talking, the essential question of what do writers use literary language to enliven their writing? Um, Make connections between the actual experience and the writing experience of a basketball space experience is the goal for today. So how many of you play basketball? How many of you watched it and liked it? How many love it? How would you describe the game in one sentence? Today we're going to read a book that's written as a free verse poem about basketball. The book called Hoops and it was written by Robert Brule. As I read, think about whether or not you agree with his feelings about the language about the game. Um, as I read it, I think, think about whether or not you agree with his feelings about the game. Okay. Oops, the game, feel it. The rough roundness of the ball take a piece of the thin, long reach of your body. The way it answers whenever you call, the never stop back and forth flow, like tides going in, going out. So feel it. What do you think the writer means by that? What might he want you to feel? Um, smile. All right. Uh, think about what the it is that answers whenever you call. What might be flowing like the tides? The smooth skaterly glide and sudden swerve, the sideways slip through a moment of narrow space. The cool, the into and under and up. The feathery fingertip roll and soft slow drop. Feel your throat on fire. Feel the asphalt burning beneath your shoes. The two of you rhythm. The know where everyone is without having to look. All right, so what do these lines tell you about the game? The watching and waiting to poke and pounce, the fox on the lurk. The hunger, the leap from the pack. So why why do you think the writer uses imaginary Im Im imagery of a fox in a poem about a basketball game? The out in the clear like a stallion with wind in your face. The bent legs tense as the mist shot swirls and silently spins. The hawk. Your arm shooting up through a thicket of arms. The lean and brush and burst free. The skittery cat footed dance along the baseline, the taste for the rock in your hands when it comes the most. So what actions do you think the writer is talking, trying to describe here? The weight of your hanging from fine invisible threads, the eyes. The arc, the no sound sound of the ball. A no sound sound, what do those words mean to you? As it sinks through nothing but still, pure air, yes. Hoops, the game, feel it. So these words have a different meaning at the end of the end, end than at the beginning. Why do you think so?